Here's a little story for you guys that I'm sharing in hopes that somehow it would have something for somebody that would be of encouragement. There was a point in my life, in the earlier part of my life, where I just played really small. I did not allow myself to be seen. I did not allow myself to be heard. I just blended into the background. And um, I did not assert myself much at all. And my sense of depression had culminated to a point where I was so depressed that I just wished and longed for death. And one morning in this state, I had to take my car in for repairs. I took a day off of work and I packed my bike in the back of my car in the trunk and I drove down to the repair shop and on my way in, there was another guy that was on his way out and he, uh, he said hi to me as I was coming in. I said hi to him. Anyhow, I dropped my car off and I rode my bike uh, out of the shop on the way home. And on the way home, as I was driving my bike or riding my bike down the sidewalk, this pickup truck careened out of the parking lot and smashed into me. I saw it coming, but it was coming fast enough that I knew that there was no way that I would not be hit by the truck. Next thing I know is that I I come to out of blackness to a pool of blood and my bike is mangled um, on the ground and the driver of the pickup truck comes running out to see if I'm okay. Um, I got hit by the truck and it hit my head as well and the truck driver takes me to the hospital. Guess who it was that did the x-ray on me the same guy that I said hi to when I was bringing my car in that morning and it so happened that he had to go back to get his car I guess I don't know he was driving a car to go back and get his car I don't know how that was how that worked out anyway it didn't matter he offered me a ride back to the shop to pick up my car and so that is to say that first of all my state of being attracted that accident. My longing for death and my dissatisfaction with my life at that time brought me to a point where I manifested that truck hitting me. And I believe that it was a huge wake-up call. The second thing I want to point out is the tremendous synchronicity around that event. And Carl Jung talks about synchronicity. He's the one that coined the term. And he talks about the fact that synchronicity are outward, uh, seemingly coincidences that, that line up or match with inner uh, meaningful, uh, inner meaning. Okay, so the, the marriage of outer coincidences with inner meaning. And so we see, or, so, so we see that there was that huge coincidence around what happened that day. Um, around me getting hit with that truck and me actually getting that ride by the same guy that dropped off his car in the morning at the same shop. What are the odds of that happening, right? If you were to think of it in terms of like probability, the probability is so low for something like that to happen. But it was clustered around this very height, heightened, uh, emotionally charged experience and therefore it had great meaning in my life. And this is to show that there is no separation between the outer reality that you face and that you manifest and your inner reality. The other thing that I want to say that I got out of this situation is that after this accident, basically when the x-ray was done, he said nothing is damaged. I was completely fine. Although my bike was mangled and I had to get a new bike, the, the driver of the pickup truck purchased a new bike for me. And I, I didn't press any charges. I didn't do any of that stuff. I just wanted a, a bike. That's all. I just wanted to... I was not at the frame of mind to, uh, to try to, to press charges or do anything like that. I just wanted, honestly, to, to just move on with my life. But I really got a new lease on life as a result of this situation because... Uh, what happened after this was that I started seeing life in a very different way. I started for some reason viewing life 
in the same way that you view yourself when you become lucid in a dream. You see, when you are dreaming and you're having a nightmare, you feel like you're actually subject to the forces in the dream. But when you start to realize that you're actually dreaming and you become lucid, you realize that, hey, you know what? I could just kind of play around here. And uh, if I play around, I just have to wake up. And for some reason, that's how I started thinking about life from that day forward. I just start thinking like, I'm going to take tremendous risks in my life. I'm going to do the things that I was so terrified to do up to that point in my life. And if it doesn't w work out for me, I could just die. Because to me, in my mind, dying was like waking up from a dream for some reason. But it was that circumstance, it was, it was that situation that really turned things around for me where I was able to expand my life to a place where now I could take tremendous risks and I have taken tremendous risks and I have grown and climbed out of the abyss that I used to be in back then. But the only way I was able to do that was to have a shift in my mindset and to start taking risks in my life. So what all of this what I'm trying to say from all of this is that if you find yourself in a place in your life where you feel restricted to the point of depression and walled in boredom and and if you're in a place where you feel like life is hopeless understand that life is a dream life is nothing but the dream that your higher self is having it is an immersive holographic experience for the expansion of your soul and so when you start seeing that and you start taking the risks then you realize that the things that you were scared of happening are basically just threshold guardians that are keeping you in a safety zone or in a box that the ego wants you to remain in because it is only interested in your survival but here's the thing survival is not good enough in this life it is not we're not here to survive we are here to grow and you cannot grow unless you are willing to take those risks guys so I hope this little bit of vulnerability on my part can impart some sort of feeling of uh, of your need to to really step outside of your own little comfort zone because I'll tell you something if you remain in that comfort zone the comfort zone becomes a restrictive wall it becomes a coffin and like I said I was hoping for death I had a good job hey listen the last job that I used to work paid a lot of money but I was miserable in it here I am I'm doing what I know is my purpose and even though I'm living my purpose things are not easy for me I'll I'll be completely honest it's not a cakewalk but I know beyond the shadow of a doubt that my limitations are being stretched and I am growing and I'm evolving and I'm living my purpose and so I'm just here to encourage you to do the same don't let your comfort zone become your coffin and allow yourself to face your fears understand that synchronicities are there in your life to point you in the direction of your purpose and your purpose is not always going to be easy but it is the road of growth and evolution and that is why you are here I know for a fact guys that when I was hit by that truck I died that day you may say well no you, you didn't die obviously you stepped away from it and the x-ray revealed that everything was well no I know that I died and I know that on some level that I can't remember I was given the the choice to come back and try again and I decided instead of just remaining on the other side I know that I made that decision to come back and try again and so here I am I'm not gonna play small again I am going to keep on facing my fear I'm gonna keep on moving in the direction of evolution and I hope that you are encouraged to do the same have a great day